Hi everyone, my name is Joy Love. How are you doing? So today I want to talk about three different food delivery apps that I use and the comparison of that. So Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Grubhub are the ones that I use to make some money and here and there, like whenever I have time to do it. Um, I'm, I've been using Uber Eats the longest and DoorDash also. So DoorDash, uh, when I started, it was um, in-person meeting and they uh, gave you these bags and it was really, really long time ago. But nowadays you can just sign up uh, through your app and Grubhub, the same thing and Uber. Uber Eats, um, you basically do both Uber and Uber Eats, but on the app, you can just say, I only want to do delivery. Um, the reason why I did Lyft and I did regular Uber with passengers, um, the reason why I don't really do much of those passengers, um, I had some bad experiences. Um, and also some distance like you can't say like you know where it's going to and um sometimes you go you end up going so 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 far but uber eats uh doordash or grubhub they tell you exactly where the restaurant is and where the delivery location is so you can see and then sometimes um uber eats tells you this will take 30 minutes or 40 minutes and you can decline uh, if it's too far, etc. So Uber Eats, um, I've been making about $16 to $20 an hour and DoorDash same, but a little bit higher, maybe 20 to $25 an hour. Grubhub, I just started it, so I can't really gauge. I just had a few deliveries, but they gave you this lovely bag uh, right away once you start, uh, once you complete the first uh, delivery. So it's really nice. And Uber Eats, to be honest with you, has so long of the distance. So one time I had this Indian food that I started off from a town called Walpole to Cambridge it was like 40 minutes drive who orders Indian food for 40 minutes drive. And when I delivered it, that person was like, that was a long drive, huh? I'm like, yeah, your mango lassi is kind of melting. But um, so DoorDash has more of shorter distance and sometimes when it's peak, it's higher pay. So, and sometimes I had Dunkin' Donut for like, 10 minutes drive, like, you know, here, from here to the Dunkin', uh, from my house to Dunkin' Donuts to uh, customer's house, total maybe 10, 12 minutes, and I got like eight, nine dollars. So sometimes DoorDash, when it's especially peak time, like a dollar plus, two dollar plus, when you are having a DoorDash app, it shows red, and then when it's red, you can dash, and if not, you cannot. Uber Eats, you cannot tell which area is busy right now, but you just turn on the app. Both Uber Eats and DoorDash has this card that give you like a credit card. And sometimes it's a shop, which means like an Easter card. So today I had um, Walgreens um, shopping for Uber Eats and I had to pick up some items. And then sometimes when the item's not available, you can just text the customer oh, your um, flavor of the ice cream is not available. I only see these two types and then she chose the birthday cake. So anyways, um, so I've done both um, Uber Eats DoorDash shopping and that tends to pay a little bit higher. Um, the technique is when you go to the store, you can ask some staff uh, if you can't find the items right away. Do you know which aisle is this one, this one? And then usually it helps to reduce your time of shopping. And also um, sometimes I've done Instacart too, but um, you can decline if you don't like to shop, you just wanna grab food and then go. 
Uh, one of the things I noticed is communication is really great um, way to maybe increase the tips. Um, I had some customers that I was really communicating. Like I always do, like say when you go to the restaurant um, and then the food is not ready, I will say, okay, your food is gonna be ready in two minutes. And then when I get the food, like I will always say when you complete um, check, check out, and then pick up, confirm, and then all the process. And then when you hit delivery, and then you see like ex estimate arrival arrival of time. So I would say ETA like eleven twenty or something. And then so I just try to keep the customer updated of their order, and I try to uh, tell them you know I'm gonna be there blah 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 and. A lot of times uh, during the pandemic, I was leave at the door. Uh, and then even after the pandemic, a lot of people want you to leave at the door, but you have to take a photo. And then if it's nighttime, there's an app option that you can use flashlight. So it's helpful. And I noticed that uh, when you are not sure like which address, sometimes, you know, when you say 56, but it's not like really visible, then um, on app, um, the map shows like that um, house, like say square, uh, rectangle, kind of like the shape of the house. And those are really helpful as well when you are trying to find a house to deliver. And sometimes uh, customer says meet at the door. And I've had some cases like, why do you want to meet me at the door? Some cases that uh, customer has cash tip and that's why, or sometimes they just want to grab it from you. So it's been very, very interesting experience for me. Um, and you can just turn it on app anytime, except the DoorDash again, uh, you have to be in an area. When you are in this area, it has to get red. And when it's lighter, red it's it means it's not busy and it gets like more intense color of red it gets busy and then you get like really intense color of red and then that means it has peak time which is like a dollar plus two dollar plus um i just did 2.5 dollars plus um so the bait there's a base pay and there's 2.5 dollars peak pay and then customers tips so i got eleven dollars uh total for delivering five items of dunkin donuts and sometimes uh when you confirm you can see the details of the orders and sometimes um you tend to maybe forget the drinks and then i've had that happen before so make sure you check and then um get the right drinks and then usually when you go to the store um there is a pickup section that uh for uber eats doordash grubhub there's like three uh signs and you can just go to if you're doing the doordash doordash one and then uber eats one and stuff and then for instance um if they don't have those and then um, they don't have the pickup rack and then if it's like a small store you can just ask corner and one thing I noticed is uh, when you are doing like night delivery like Wendy's McDonald's uh, Taco Bell the store door is closed but don't worry the drive-through is sometimes open late so you go to drive through and it's kind of nightmare sometimes there's so many cars because people are so hungry at night and um if that's the case you can go to the app and then cancel because while you are waiting in a drive through line you could be taking some other order that store is still open so you can make money that way and also when you go to um mcdonald's um, they ask the three digits of the DoorDash um, number. So when you arrive, click on arrive and then it shows like six numbers. So they will ask you three last uh, digits of the order. So like five, six, seven or something. So when you are at the drive through before you even get there, uh, just be ready to know that number. Um, I'm here for DoorDash, and then they will ask you what's just the last three number, and I'll say one to three. Okay, go to the second uh, doors and stuff. So that will save your time. So it's a lot of different uh, things I've learned of doing uh, three apps, and I usually turn on 
all of the apps and then once i get doordash i will just turn off the uber eats and then grab hub and then vice versa so you never know which app picks up the order first and i don't like to do it in downtown because the parking is really hard but the suburb uh, parking is easy and um sometimes the tips nice too and i noticed that during the pandemic i did um, uber eats at the height of pandemic it was a ghost town in boston and there was no car except the uber eats drivers and stuff so um it was very easy to pick up the food and then i've done like thousands of deliveries but um, nowadays i don't want to do uh, uber eats or doordash in boston like downtown area because it's just a nightmare so it, when you are living in suburb um download the app um and then you can start dashing or doing uber eats and then when you go to like really downtown area like you know just turn off the app and then come back to the suburb so you don't have to get a ticket you don't have to worry about the parking and that's kind of the technique and at the end of the day the money that you make is similar now the suburbs are kind of sometimes challenged because when you deliver food from say Dunkin donut to somebody's house and then around there there's not so much restaurants because it's in the middle of nowhere but then the app tells you where is the hot spot and you can hit navigation to the hot spot so you can go if you are in the suburb here and then it tells you the doordash tells you to go to um, the busy area so that's one thing when you are doing the lift or uber regular like you know it's here you pick you drop somebody off even if there's no restaurant there's somebody another people here so they match matches you and then it doesn't have uh much of the lag time in between so that's one thing that i noticed about the doordash or uber eats app when you're doing the suburb there is a time that you just have to find a restaurant area but uh, once you do know some of the restaurants that gets a lot of DoorDash order, you can go ahead and then go to that restaurant area, especially like so one that are popular and don't turn on the app and then turn on the app when you get near the restaurant as well. So I hope this video is helpful and also DoorDash has a really nice incentive of referring your friend and right now i saw that it's maybe for anywhere between 400 to 700 dollars um that when you refer a friend by text or facebook messengers you have an option and then when they complete certain deliveries uh, within a certain time then you get the bonus as well so that way you can refer people i really like out of three apps uh doordash because um, again, the distance is um, very consistent. It's anywhere between like 10 minutes to 13 minutes max drive between the retail or restaurant to a customer. And I have done like you know, some retail as well where you don't have to have the credit card, say Bed and Bath and Beyond. I had this order that I picked up and then put in my car and delivered it as well. So there are three types, I would say, food and then shop with the credit card or pick up with the, from the retail store and then it's already paid and just pick up and deliver. So hopefully this is helpful. If you're thinking, if you're thinking about doing DoorDash, uh, Uber Eats or Grubhub, I really recommend it because it's chill and you know, you can listen to music and you know, you can make money really uh, easy and quick, especially during the peak hours. So choose your time and then when the app tells you, um, you know, it's busy and then it's a really great way to make um, some money and side hustle.